The authors manually created this video figure. Automatically generated podcasts are available in the demo section of this video and as supplemental materials. This video showcases PaperWave, a tool that adapts research paper PDFs into conversational podcasts. Let's explore how PaperWave works. Welcome to Paperwave. Today, we have the pleasure of hosting the anonymous authors behind the groundbreaking research, Paperwave, listening to research papers as conversational podcasts scripted by LLM. Welcome. Thank you for having us. To begin, could you provide our listeners with a brief overview of your research paper? Absolutely. Our research explores the potential of adapting text documents, specifically research papers, into audio content using large language models, LLMs. We've developed a prototype system called PaperWave, which adapts these research papers into conversational podcasts. This study aims to provide a nuanced understanding of how such a system can expand the ways we engage with knowledge. That sounds incredibly interesting. To achieve this aim, I understand that you formulated two research questions. Precisely. Our first research question was, in what contexts can PaperWave be used effectively? The second was, how and what aspects of engagement with knowledge can PaperWave enhance? Those are compelling questions that lead me to anticipate some intriguing empirical findings about users of this document-to-podcast adaptation system. Now let's delve into the methodology behind your study. Certainly. We employed three methods, autobiographical design, a field study, and a design workshop. I see. So you conducted an empirical study that incorporated a first-person perspective. Could you elaborate on what you did in each of these three practices? Of course. We explored the design of PaperWave and its implications for user adoption through two months of real-world usage. Five authors and six participants used PaperWave in their daily lives. We concluded these two months with a design workshop where the participants shared their experiences and reflections. That's a very comprehensive approach. Now, could you provide us with an overview of PaperWave itself? Certainly. PaperWave allows users to upload a PDF, customize the episode title and duration, choose the podcast language from English, Japanese, and Korean, and select the LLM model for script generation. Very interesting. Could you tell us a bit about the playback features? Absolutely. The episodes page displays all recorded episodes, and users can also explore episodes created by their colleagues. This social element fosters greater engagement and facilitates the sharing of academic content. Thank you for that quick tour of PaperWave's features. Finally, could you briefly touch on your findings? One key finding was that PaperWave expanded the range of topics users engaged with. They reported that listening to shared papers from colleagues was more convenient and accessible than traditional reading. That sounds beneficial. Do you have any more examples? Interestingly, we found that users could interact with their surroundings while listening to papers. For instance, one author, while listening to Areca, a design speculation on everyday products having minds, passed by a vending machine and started imagining, what if vending machines had minds? This highlights a key advantage of mobile reading, the ability to engage with academic content while remaining present in the physical world. That's a great example of how PaperWave can enhance engagement with research. It seems to encourage a more active and creative thought process. If you're interested in learning more, I encourage you to check out the full paper. Now, let's move on to the demo section. Could you explain what we'll be listening to and play the episode generated by PaperWave? Certainly. The upcoming episode is a 10-minute podcast adapted from the PaperWave research paper itself. The language is set to English. Let's listen. Welcome everyone to PaperWave. In today's episode, we have the pleasure of speaking with the anonymous authors of the research paper, PaperWave, listening to research papers as conversational podcasts scripted by LLM. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. To start off, could you give our listeners an overview of your research paper? Of course. Our research explores the potential of adapting text documents into audio content using large language models, LLMs. 
Specifically, we developed a prototype system called PaperWave, which converts research papers into conversational podcasts. This study aims to provide a nuanced understanding of how such a system can broaden opportunities for engaging with niche text documents. That sounds fascinating. So, why is there a need for audio content adaptation, especially in the context of research papers? Listening to audio content offers a different mode of reading compared to traditional visual reading. It provides more mobility, allowing users to learn while moving, such as during commuting or doing chores. Additionally, engaging with research papers through audio can make the content more accessible and convenient, especially for those who may find it challenging to sit down and read long documents. Interesting. It seems like PaperWave could significantly enhance how researchers engage with academic content. Could you also tell us a bit about the concept of PaperWave and how it works? Certainly. PaperWave is designed to adapt academic paper PDFs into conversational podcasts. The system involves multiple stages, including the generation of scripts using LLMs, text-to-speech conversion, and the incorporation of background music. The idea is to create an engaging and informative audio experience by adopting an interview-style speech, which includes questions and rephrasing by the host. This helps users catch up on content even if they miss parts. We also outline the topics covered at the beginning of the podcast to set the context for the listeners. Welcome back to PaperWave. Let's dive into the design principles behind PaperWave. What were the main considerations when developing the system? We based the design principles on insights gained from autobiographical design. First and foremost, we adopted an interview-style speech format for the podcasts. This includes questions and rephrasing by the host, allowing listeners to catch up on content even if they miss parts. So the interview-style speech helps maintain engagement. And how do you ensure that listeners know what to expect from each episode? We present an outline of the topics covered at the beginning of the podcast. This way, listeners have a clear understanding of what will be discussed. It's also crucial to convey the paper's content accurately without any omissions or additions. That makes sense. Accuracy is vital in academic content. How about the podcast creation process and the playback interface? The system is available on both computers and smartphones. Users can specify the duration of the adapted podcast, which plays background music, BGM, along with the speech. Additionally, users can share the created episodes with colleagues, enhancing collaborative learning. That's wonderful. BGM probably helps make the content more engaging and enjoyable. Did you encounter any issues with irrelevant content during development? Yes, we noticed that some podcasts included announcements of listener giveaways, which highlighted the need to avoid generating irrelevant content. We focused on suppressing such elements to maintain the educational value of the podcasts. It's great to hear that you addressed those issues. Any final points on the listening experience? We found that BGM could have a positive impact, such as making transitions between segments smoother. Different BGMs can also give each episode a refreshing feel. Overall, we aimed for a design that supports both stationary and mobile listening, broadening how users can engage with research papers. Welcome back to PaperWave. In this segment, we'll be discussing the system architecture and user scenarios for PaperWave. Could you describe the system architecture for us? Certainly. The system architecture of PaperWave involves a user-friendly web application where users can upload research paper PDFs. Once uploaded, the system generates a conversational podcast. For instance, users can specify the episode title, duration, and the language of the podcast. This flexibility allows users to tailor their listening experience to their needs. That sounds convenient. Can you provide an example of a user scenario that demonstrates how PaperWave is used? Sure. Let's take an example of a user who commutes to university by foot and train. The user uploads a research paper to PaperWave before starting their day, then listens to the generated podcast on their smartphone while walking. Upon boarding the train, the user may switch to an episode created by a colleague, making use of the channels list feature to explore various topics of interest. That's a great example. What are the steps involved in uploading a PDF and generating a conversational podcast? The steps are quite straightforward. First, the user uploads the PDF file and enters the episode title. Then, they set the duration for the podcast. 
This is particularly useful as users can tailor the episode length to fit their commute time or other activities. They also choose the language for the podcast, whether it's English, Japanese, or Korean. And what about the more advanced options? Users can select the LLM model to generate the script and can input additional metadata such as episode descriptions, keywords, and cover image URLs. Once these settings are configured, they simply click the Generate button to start the recording process. Welcome back to Paperwave. In this segment, we will discuss the autobiographical design process behind Paperwave. Can you walk us through the first phase, please? Of course. The first phase involved manual generation using ChatGPT. We explored different prompts to generate scripts of podcasts from PDFs by manually inputting these prompts. This phase was conducted from June 25th, 2024 to July 9th, 2024, and converting the script to speech was done using a Python script. What were some of the key insights gained from this first phase? We realized the importance of making LLMs with different roles work together. For instance, by generating longer podcasts through such collaboration, we could meet listeners' needs for extended content, such as during aerobic exercise. Additionally, we found that the interview format was more effective compared to a news format for engaging with research papers. That's fascinating. Moving on to the second phase, what changes were made? In the second phase, we developed a command line interface, CLI, for automatic generation of podcasts from PDFs. This phase started on July 1st and overlapped with the first phase until August 21st, when the web application became operational. We iterated on the CLI and identified effective features like the importance of presenting a podcast outline at the beginning, avoiding unrelated content such as commercials, and the positive influence of background music on the listening experience. It seems like both phases contributed significantly to refining Paperwave. Were there any benefits and challenges specifically associated with the CLI phase? Yes, the CLI allowed for more structured and systematic adaptation of PDFs into podcasts. However, it also revealed the need for further improvements, such as making the podcasts accessible on smartphones and ensuring the duration matches the length of the paper. Sharing the generated podcast with colleagues was identified as a beneficial feature for collaborative learning. Welcome back to Paperwave. In this segment, we'll discuss the findings from the field study and design workshop. Could you start by explaining how mobile reading is enabled by Paperwave? Sure. Paperwave allows for mobile reading of research papers, which means users can listen to podcasts of research papers while engaging in other activities like commuting, walking, or doing chores. This flexibility broadens the opportunities for researchers to engage with academic content, especially when they don't have the time to sit down and read. That's very convenient. How does the emphasis on information differ when listening to audio compared to reading text documents? Participants in our study reported that listening to research papers in podcast form often draws attention to different parts of the paper than when reading it visually. For example, some information that might be skipped over in text form becomes more noticeable and significant when heard aloud. This change in emphasis can aid in understanding and retaining information better. So it can enhance the engagement with the content. Were there any observations on how this form of engagement affects interaction with the environment? Yes, indeed. Listening to research papers through Paperwave has been shown to stimulate imagination and interaction with the environment. For instance, one participant reported imagining what would happen if everyday objects, like vending machines, had minds while listening to a particular paper. This shows how engaging with content through audio can lead to creative thought processes and applications in real-life contexts. That's fascinating. What other insights did you gain about users' attitudes towards engaging with knowledge through Paperwave? The participants' attitudes varied. Some enjoyed the format because it allowed them to consume content more casually, reducing the barrier to engaging with research papers. Others highlighted that engaging with papers in different spatiotemporal situations sometimes helped expand their ideas and imagination. However, there were also challenges, such as difficulty in focusing on the content while multitasking. It seems like the Paperwave system has both strengths and areas that need improvement. Did the participants suggest any specific improvements 
during the design workshop? Yes, participants provided valuable feedback during the design workshop. They emphasized the importance of presenting an episode outline at the beginning of the podcast to set the context. Additionally, they suggested avoiding irrelevant content like commercials, and noted the positive influence of background music in making the podcasts more engaging. That's insightful. Anything else you'd like to add about the field study and design workshop findings? Overall, the field study and design workshop highlighted how Paperwave could effectively expand the ways researchers engage with academic content. The system's flexibility allows it to be used in various contexts, making it a useful supplementary tool to traditional reading. While there are challenges to address, the overall feedback was positive, showing the potential for further development.